or whatever at the beginning. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hey. It's Ladies of the Lanai. I'm Christine. I'm Tina. Thanks for listening today. We're bringing you a whole new thing. Right. It's sort of like a you ask, we answered sort of a thing. And for, for beauty and health. Beauty and health. Uh, uh, yeah, people have asked us, you know, we'd love to see you do a beauty show. Yeah. So we both are um, kind of aficionados of the skin, hair, and beauty <laughs> um, arena in our own two different ways. Uh, so we're really honored to be able to do this for you guys today. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to just do it so yeah. how we start out our day? Yeah. Well, I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to show you what I use, but I'm also going to give some like candy little tips. Um, I've said it before, but I haven't really talked too much about it. I am um, a skincare um, and an executive consultant with Rodan and Fields. So I've been studying skincare for, um, a, with the business for about six years. And um, so I'm really happy to share all the things that I've learned. And the first thing is um, to have a regimen every day and to do it every day and every night. Um, and that's the important thing. So consistency and using your good products that you've spent money on, uh, using them every day and twice a day. Um, in other words, don't just say, oh, I'm gonna use moisturizer today and just leave it at that. No, you need to wash, tone, you know, and then whatever, if you use any serums or anything like that, use your serums and then treat it. Um, and especially here in Florida and anywhere you are, the number one enemy to our skin is sun. the sun. She <laughs> isn't even coaching. She knew <laughs> it's the sun. So make sure that whatever you're using, um, you know, that the final step has an SPF in it and uh, all of the core regimens of Rodan and Fields do. So um, one really important step is to use an exfoliator. Um, I love this one because it's a cleaner with an exfoliator in it. And I'm just going to also share my little tip as well. So this tube, um, it looked like it was empty for a while. And but what you can do is you, if it's a tube, you can cut it. Oh. And then there's look at like, I thought this was empty. I've already got scooped out stuff from here, but look how much stuff is in there. A lot. A lot. And now it's on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's a really good tip because if you're, you know, you're spending good money on products, you should be able to, you know, I'll get an extra week out of that. So that's really helpful. Like so that. an exfoliating wash, because that will help to um, take off those dead skin cells. The exfoliator, you know, we want to get our pores really clean. Um, pores, like they tend to sort of um, stretch a little bit over time. And that kind of uh, affects the that, ant that age look that we're trying to combat all the time. So if you can keep your pores super clean, um, you know, rough, slough off those dead skin cells, think. <sighs> Think like an onion and that peel that's on the outside of an onion. If you're putting a moisturizer on top of that peel, AKA dead skin cells, those beautiful products that you've bought aren't going to get a chance to sink in. So if you're exfoliating your skin, you're you're doing your best, um, your best favor to yourself with the other products that you're using. So wash, and then the second step, I didn't bring it with me, but is a toner. Um, sometimes, do you use a toner? See, I was going to say, some people don't like to use toners because they think back in the day yes. when they were like astringent in nature. Yes. Uh, but this is not the case anymore This for, for anti-aging type products. Toners um, um, will help to continue to clean off those dead skin cells where the exfoliator does it in a kind of like a mechanical way. A toner does it in sort of a chemical way, in a good chemical way. Mm -hmm. And um, so it helps to continue to clean out those pores, to continue to um, get off those dead skin cells. Sometimes you'll still see a little debris uh, from makeup or anything and um, on your toner pad. And I also quickly recommend uh, using a gauze pad instead of a cotton pad because mm. this does not absorb as much product. So you're going to save your product this way too if you use a gauze pad. Anyway. That's a good tip. Yep. Um, and also a toner will balance your pH. And that's really important because when your skin is balanced, then again, the next products that you use don't have to work so hard to get in there and do their thing because the pH is neutral. Um, and then also the you know final step is to use a moisturizer that has an SPF in it. Uh, this has SPF 30. We have another one that has SPF 50. Um, so that is, that's my basic skincare tips. Okay. Yeah. Mine's, mine's gonna be a little more Like I that's use, okay like a very gentle, cause I have a uh, combination skin, but I use Cetaphil foam wash. So the first thing I do, I wash my face in the morning. And like you, I do have a regime from a very young age. 
I always washed and moisturized every morning and night. Did your mother teach you that or did you just she, grab onto it yourself? She claims that she took me to a class and she introduced me to it and from then on that I, whatever, and that's why I have good skin. Okay. So that's what my mom says. But, um, and I use like, this is an organic bamboo cotton round, but I just like it because I like the- can you feel it? Yeah. So you can wash it? But I it, instead of like a giant washcloth, because when we talk about lashes, I, because if I'm washing around my face, I don't want to get my lashes. You don't want to get your wet. lashes. So when I'm washing, I can use this little thing. And it's like a little tiny washcloth. Ooh, and then I use like a serum. This happens to be an Amazon, <laughs> Amazon basic, but I use different brands of stuff. But um, this is a vitamin C serum. So I'll do this or a hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. And then the moisturizer that I love the most is Shiseido. Um, so then I'll put on my moisturizer mm -hmm. and then as you said, sunscreen, I like super goop. This is the glow screen, but I also like the unseen screen. So it's just a clear whatever, because mm -hmm. if you're out golfing or just being in Florida now all the time, you really do want to wear a sunscreen. So, and that's my basic regime. Like that's, that's all I do. And the vitamin, any, any product that you have with vitamin C, um, is really good for brightening your skin. Um, as we age, you know, we want to get rid of that dull, that matte look. And it's, it, you know, again, if we go back in the day, we didn't want oil. We didn't want that shine, but now we kind of do. Um, it helps to, you know, brighten your face. It helps to like reflect light off any, any um, wrinkles or any of those things that nobody has. But, you know. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to, it's good. And hyaluronic acid serums are really good because that is something that hydrates your skin and uh, hyaluronic acid will bring moisture to your skin and hold the water on. So that's, that's why those ingredients, um, when you find it in a, in a good product, they're good to look for. Right. Um, and then, may, I don't know, do you wear a lot of makeup? I do tend to, I'm wearing makeup right now. I generally do for when we're, you know, when we're um, taping. filming or taping. Filming. Um, and it really depends. I think that the hotter it gets, the less I wear. Right. Um, but um, I, I do tend to wear makeup pretty oh. often. Yeah. I don't wear a lot, This because this will segue into, um, so the makeup I do wear, mm -hmm. like it, if I do a sunscreen, it'll be either a tinted moisturizer or tinted uh, sunscreen, something like that. Um, and besides that, I don't really, I don't like wearing foundation anymore. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we'll do the lashes after mm -hmm. this, but so wearing the lashes, I feel like I don't wear, I don't need a lot of makeup. So I'll line the inside of my eye. I love this um, Makeup Forever Aqua color pencil. It's just a black one and I line inside the water line of my eye. Um, do you if, have sensitive eyes at all? Somewhat. Yeah, because sometimes I feel like when I put it inside, um, but that one doesn't bother you. Yeah. That's good it, to know. And it's water. But, well, it still goes away, whatever. And then Waterproof. It, yeah. I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, but if I do wear eyeshadow, because again of the lashes, I like these um, sticks. So you can get like a cream stick and you just go in and, and do it. And then I'll use my finger to do it out. This is uh, something julep. I think this is, uh, that's Laura Mercier stick. But, and I also like Charlotte Tillsbury. This isn't a pot, so I would use a brush. Um, I would use a brush to go in and just put it on mm -hmm. um, and do that. And then I'll use, this is NARS Orgasm, but it's uh, for your cheeks. Mm, that's a pretty color. You can use it kind of anywhere. And it has like a little it's bit like, of highlighting bronze. It's like pinkish. Yeah. Um, peach, it's really pretty color. Yeah. And then I love this, uh, it's Yves Saint Laurent number 44. Lipstick. Also like a peachy pink. Yeah. That's a nice neutral. I so. like those. But the other thing I have done is I've done tattoo uh, makeup. So my lips were done, were done but it, you can't see it so much now. My eyebrows, this has been a, a little a while. Oh, okay. And I did eyeliner, but I am getting them retouch actually at the end of this month. So I may look like a clown for a couple of days. Oh, well, <laughs> we won't film those two days. <laughs> but I'm gonna, it's I plan on doing Florida, the lips. though, because you know, like the makeup tends to, you know, especially if we're out playing golf or pickleball or just even out, you know, makeup will tend to just run and be right. Ooh. And I like to say, I woke up like this. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. So I like yeah. doing, um, I like the permanent makeup, you know, not too much, not too heavy. 
Um, did you find people here in Florida that you I did. Love this and is going to be it's someone I found through Nellie actually that she liked, and I'm going to try this person. So it's the first time with her. Hopefully, it'll last a long time because Nellie. then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, love that. I love that. I've never. Um, I haven't done any of that. It's painful, no. but it's worth it. <laughs> Especially having a needle in your eye when they do the eyeliner. Oh, it, gosh. Oh, it does hurt. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, let me know if you need a ride home that okay. day. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you will. All right. And what's your... So for makeup, um, I'm the same as you when it comes to foundation. I used to be a big foundation girl. Um, you know, we used to work... You know, when you work in an office, you it's important to look polished and um, all the time. Um, but then what I found was, and I'm going to lean a lot on Rodan and Fields products, but not 100% because I, I do have some other products, but we have something that is like a tinted moisturizer with SPF 30 in it. It comes with 10 colors. And um, I find that this gives a really pretty glow. It evens out your skin tone and it has mm -hmm. the SPF in it. <clears throat> and with regards to SPF, because you're using, let's say, a 25, um, like my moisturizer is 25 and this is 30, I'm not getting 55, I'm just getting 30, whatever the highest number is. But uh, here's another tip, like the way that I like to use makeup is, you know, put a little bit on my hand like it's a palette and then use the brush to sort of pick it up and then distribute it all around, especially in here um, and over here um, and all the way up to your hairline and down your neck and, and pick it up and then use a, a really good dense brush like this to buff it out. And that's where you'll get a nice, um, even, um, beautiful, flawless kind of finish. Not your fingers, because yeah, that's what really works well. So that's what I use for makeup. Um, with regards to, you're gonna talk about lashes in a little bit, but um, um, the other thing that I really like to use is um, a primer on my um, eyes, because I do feel like I have a little bit of discoloration in my eyelids, and when it's sort of like more even toned, I just feel like, is he breathing heavy on he's, you? If he's sorry. breathing heavy, we're sorry. He's <laughs> just dog. drooling over my beauty, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyway, this I found this Lovecraft Beauty eyeshadow primer. Mm. Um, and it's I just put a little bit on my um, ring fingers. And anything you do around your eyes, it's good to use around your ring fingers because it will tug the least. And, I, and you just pat it on and it just gives a nice place for your shadow to sort of grab onto and all I wear is like a really light brown and that's it that's all I wear is light brown eyeshadow a liner and I was gonna say I always when I wore eyeshadow powder I used to and when I was working I would always use an eye primer always because I had oily lids yeah I mean I think we both have similar like slightly oily skin mm. so then that would suck what happened to your skin you know, everything just sort of slides off um, and I just use a plain brown like I said on my um, lids and then this tart you mm. i'm going to show you how very well loved it is oh <laughs> i use this um bronzer it you know to give because i think i have like a bit of a round face so it's really important for me to like do just a little bit of contouring, contouring just a little bit to sort of um make my face look a little less round mm. so anyway um that's that and my last secret that i have is um this under eye um concealer because I do have, um, I do have, you know, pretty serious circles under my eyes. I do too. I raised three girls. I don't have that excuse. So <laughs> that's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been, I probably have tried 20 different concealers. I don't know if you've Who's tried. This? I can't even any, see. Because this is called, it? it's see. a product of Greece. I got it for, and my girlfriend goes to Greece like several times a year and she gets it for me. It's illuminated liquid concealer, uh, radiant professional makeup and the name of it isn't on here, but um, I'll find out and we'll put it in the link um, because it has a little bit of a um, sheen to it uh, rather than I find that everything I try just sort of cakes under my eyes and just makes things look worse. Can you feel me? <laughs> so anyway, this is really glides on, has that little bit of a light to it. I really love it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Um, so hair, hair, I have used a Rodan and Fields uh, shampoo and conditioner, mm -hmm. which I like, and uh, actually there's an oil that goes with it. So mm -hmm. I, I like this. I like um, Diva Curl products, and I like the L'Oreal shampoos that have no sulfates in it. Shampoo yeah. that have that's no, it. those don't have sulfate either. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the ones that I'll use. And then what I love is 
this product. It's mm -hmm. expensive, but it was gosh darn worth it. Is a Dyson Air Wrap that you dry and then it'll suction the hair, like if you want to curl. So it'll just take the hair and curl and then you give it a cold shot and hold it and do it and it, it'll, it works. But like now I'm like, my hair has fallen. I did it and now it's all frizzy because it's humid. In, in Florida, nothing lasts when I do my hair, but I love I think the your hair looks great right now. Oh, thanks. That's but really they good. have all different attachments. So they have a brush, like a round brush. They have a comb. They have a thinner barrel. Um, and it's like life changing yeah, for someone I've... who couldn't do blowouts themselves. Mm -hmm. Like this kind of makes you feel like you can sort of do something. Yeah, I know a lot of girls that have long, thick hair have a hard time uh, blowing your hair out themselves because it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to blow my hair out too. Otherwise, it's just got the weird wave. It's not a pretty curl like yours is. It's just a funky. Yeah, not <laughs> too much in between kind of a wave. Um, but I, so I blow out my hair, but um, I know a lot of girls have to struggle with that. And I did hear that tip about the cold shot at the end. Like if you're um, curling your hair or anything, or even blow drying it, let that last step of it be cold, and that somehow sets it better. Yeah, mm, that's, I get the technology. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I was just gonna throw in because I love this perfume, and they don't make it anymore. Oh no! Is Gucci too? I love it. If anybody can find me, you know. at least did you try um, eBay? I have, I mean, you know, whenever you buy stuff like this on eBay, you, know you never if know if it's authentic because exactly. you, know, you can buy something we'll talk about Anytime later. I ever go to any store, I always ask if they have it, but nobody has it anymore. So you, I have to use it sparingly. Aww. I used it on a date <laughs> and then that was kind of it. Did it put them under a spell? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. We only went on two dates, but anyway. Yeah, he's lost. <laughs> so, um, do we want to talk about lashes? Yeah, let's talk about lashes. Okay. You you know a lot about lashes. I okay. have a little on lashes. Well, you're okay. you're the natural route, and yeah. I'm the not yeah. natural yes. route. So I do. I when I was in New York, I used to do the lash extensions, and you would go for an hour, and it was very time consuming, and it was very expensive. You would go like every three weeks. You'd have to go back. You have during, to tip them right, and then during COVID, um, I discovered yeah. Lashify. That a lot of people did. Is, and so these are. Um, extent like lash extensions, but they go underneath your lash so, and they're little clusters. So instead of, I could never do a strip, but this was also life changing. And there's so many different styles, but this is what they call, I'll show you first, the mm. control kit mm -hmm. that they come um, with. So it's the tweezer, which you use to bond it. And then there's a bond. And then the glass is what you put on afterwards, like to kind of seal it. And then these are just two, car their cartridges come in these little, um, it looks like a little eye and it's 10 pieces, but they're different sizes. So you're applying it many different times. I What I do is I put um, six cluster, usually you do five, but I do six and I go from the in to out. But what you do is you do your lash map, you figure out what style you're doing, because I have it's frightening how many lashes, different cluster styles I have, but you figure out what you're doing, you put the bond on it, and then you apply one by one each cluster, you know, and you 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 bond it, you fuse it with just the tweezer. And it's easy, like I can switch up the style, I could wear it for a day. If, when you're really good, you can wear it for like a week. And that's why like I wash around it, or maybe yeah. you have to fix one thing, but you can take it off with oil-based eye makeup remover. Mm -hmm. You could do it at midnight. You do you ever do find like in the middle of the day they're falling off or anything like that? Uh, in the beginning when you're not good at doing it or if you wake up, there'll be like one stuck, <laughs> stuck here. But once you're really good with it, it doesn't do that. And the other brand I'll just say I like is this one's called Lilac Street. They're less expensive than um, Lashify. Uh -huh. They also have really, they have a lot of different styles too. Um, and if you want to just try one to see if you like that that uh, mm -hmm. procedure or that way of doing mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. because of doing underneath and yeah. bonding. This gives you a good view of what the little sections are that yeah. Tina was talking about. I don't know if you could see it. Probably <laughs> not. This is what people do. <laughs> yeah. Now I know why they do that. You can see that there's little sections. Right. Cool. And. Um, it's a good segue in to see if you like it, but I feel Lashify is the top of the world. Yeah, and, and yours, is, I mean, I would never have thought it was little sections. I thought if you would have thought that if you did little sections that they'd be wonky, but yours no. looked like it's phew, one big You You swoop. can overlap or they call it brick stacking. There, mm -hmm. There's like a whole universe of things you can do. And some women are amazing 
with what they can do. Yours look amazing. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I feel like I'm very basic, but oh. so that's my. So <laughs> that's your last. You can talk about the natural. So yeah, that's the. But that's. I was going to say before that, I was always in search of the perfect mascara. So that'll segue to you. So yeah, I have. I have <laughs> do you have the perfect I have, mascara? I have, a, I have what I think to be the perfect mascara, and um, what I have is the natural root, uh, so sort of natural. So. Um, what I love is a lash boost um, for, from Rodin and Fields. It's a lash growth serum. So your own actual lashes will grow longer, thicker, and darker over time. It's not as dramatic, uh, at least for me, as uh, what Tina just showed. It's, um, it's more natural, but certainly my lashes are way longer, way darker looking, and way thicker than they used to be. My lashes had gotten to the point. What happens is the older you get, Either you weren't graced with beautiful lashes in the first place. Somehow one of my daughters has ridiculous, gorgeous natural lashes. And the other two are more like me. They're just really short, really skimpy. Mascara did nothing. Nothing. Huh. So this is a lash growth serum. It has peptides, um, biotin, keratin, almond oil. And it just conditions your lashes. It helps them to grow. Um, it takes some time. But again, it's much cheaper than getting extensions. It's also safer. I know people that get extensions, you hear all kinds of mm -hmm. things. Like you said earlier, you're sitting in the bed for a long time. You have to go back, you have to tip. It's, it's very time to, yeah. this is, um, this is like pretty much 10 seconds at night. It looks like just a little, like a little paintbrush and you just brush it on your lashes. You could also do your brows and- and you feel it made a difference? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous the difference that it, that it has made um, in my lashes, and I'll pull up a picture while we keep talking. But and then we also have a sister product. Oh, oh! So on the subject of lashes, this is my favorite mascara, and I'm sure that um, you've heard of it. Thrive. I've heard that name. So it's a, it's you get it online. It's one of those companies that gives back. But all, if they didn't give back, I'd still buy it. It is a tubing mascara. So and you won't use mascara now. You don't need it, right? So not with the, I don't not use with the with lashes, this. but, um, so I can have really nice long lashes just alone, but then I can really enhance them and make them look, you know, like they have mascara on this tubing mascara works really well. And I like it because like we talked about earlier, like a lot of products do tend to run when you have oily skin, this does not run. I never have schmutz under my eyes. Oh, like raccoon eye. Nope. I never <laughs> have it. And it's not that hard to get off. Huh. And it's a tubing mascara. So it's, it's these, you can't see it, but it's the shape of the product is tiny, tiny, tiny little tubes. Um, and on the subject of lashes, also, um, Rodin and Fields made the sister product once, you know, this is our number one selling product, but then they made Brow Boost. So I don't know if you've looked at all, but this brow has Brow Boost on it and this brow does not. So again, Hmm. Our, la our brows, and I'm probably going to make a mockery on myself right now, but our brows also get thinner over time. It could have been because we over plucked them in the 90s when it was like, um, I'm probably going to do really bad. But anyway, that's it. Um, but this has a, la a growth serum in it, castor oil. Um, little, and it has color. And it has color. So it does two things. It has color, so it will fill and groom your brows instantly. And then over time, because it has the growth serum in it, it will help your, your own natural lashes to um, grow in a little bit, be a little thicker looking. Hmm. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, we can talk about nails. I have a feeling we both We do. both have the same nail I story. used to do, um, what was it, the powder. I used to do the powder when I first came here. Oh, the dip? The dip, that was it. And again, just like the extensions, it was very time consuming. You know what I mean? I'll go for a pedicure, but. Yes, me um, too. I'm the same. But nails, I'm like. I can't sit. It takes forever. I can't sit. I just, I don't have. I, I was I don't have time, but. You I can't go on time. your phone. Right. You can't do anything. Exactly. You're stuck. So. Right. Actually, someone yeah. had told me about these um, a few summers ago during COVID, and I used them. But now I went back to them because. I think they're really strong. So I do press on nails. Me too. <laughs> and I do this one in press. Mm -hmm. In press. I like them. Is that, I have, oh my God, that's what I have you have. Two, but I have two. I have two different kinds that I get. Oh. Yeah, I have the impress too. So again, her nails more dramatic, mine more natural. <laughs> <laughs> Which stop? Oh, you do the short. Yeah, I, yeah, do, I do. These are medium. 
but it just they have you don't have to put a apply a glue you just make sure your nail beds are clean it gives you like a alcohol yeah pad. there's a there's a prep step that you have yes. to do with regards to what you just said yeah mm -hmm. and then you just you find the right size there's all different sizes in there you do your little map of your nail and you peel off for the sticky part on the back mm -hmm. and then you I how long do you hold yours down for i try to do 20 seconds, seconds. Okay. No. yeah and then the and I do my I do my week. thumbs last. Yes, because if you if you if you just did your thumb and then you're pressing, then you're putting pressure on the thumb you just did. Oh. So do your thumbs last. Yeah, I do that. So and I find I that they it. last like a week, and they don't. Nope, they okay. last they they can they last a week sometimes longer sometimes less, but it doesn't matter. This is like thirty in here maybe. So if for some reason you didn't maybe glue one correctly or you you know, abused one of your fingers doing something <laughs> like, you know, opening up, opening up a can, a flip top and it pops off. I usually ask more one of the guys, can, can somebody open this for you me? Know, so I don't fork or something. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you, you have more, you can fix it yourself instead of going, Oh no, I got to go to the nail salon. Yeah. Huge. So I use the same impress you can get in the like stores. That, yeah. And the, What's um, that one? this is red, um, red Aspen. Um, this is, is online. That? Same idea. I'm like, let me look at that. Those are French. Mm. So it's the same idea. Um, it comes with a and it has the alcohol same. pad. It comes with a olive stick to push back. Cuticles. Do they last as long? Yeah, they're the same. It's the glue that you use, or I use a glue. I know you said that you don't. That you just use the stickum that comes on the back of these. Uh -huh. This this brand does not have the stickum. It comes with a glue. So even is it though, easy to take off? They're a little tricky to take off. You have to soak your nails for a while and slowly uh -huh. um, push it up. I've, I haven't used just the stickum is it easy to take off yeah no damage well there's no damage but you kind of work your fingernail underneath because they are on there strong but once they start to loosen a little bit yeah keep them wet but i'll put my nail underneath one and kind of edge around it yeah and then wiggle out of then it then do you give your nails a break or do you go put mm, another one right on usually i do put another one on but if i if for me a break is just me doing my own manicure like with a quick dry something yeah on and I feel like my nails are stronger now that I'm not doing the other stuff. It's they probably crazy. are crazy. No, everybody <laughs> knows that that the the dips and the um the acrylics yeah. and the gel that that does damage your nails. Yeah, because mine felt very flimsy, mm -hmm. like very thin and flimsy. Absolutely. Um, one of the other things that someone had asked, one of our viewers had asked, was about HRT, the mm -hmm. hormone replacement therapy, and I actually have been doing that. Um. I'm due for another insert this month, but I've done, I think this is like my third. So it helps with like the hot flashes and um, I guess other things. And I, I, I think it was also supposed to help with like bone density. density. So I'm more concerned about that as I'm getting older. Yeah. I feel like it's a good thing. I know it's controversial. So yeah. you really have to check with your physician or whatnot and your family health history if it's the right choice for you mm -hmm. but i i like it i mean mm -hmm. i just started doing it in the last year yeah yeah i haven't used it i have i didn't have any negative side effects from menopause so i didn't have a reason to look for a relief of any kind so i can't speak to that but um yeah i've heard a lot of good things about it yeah mm -hmm. um the other thing I was going to say, like, and so I, I don't know, do you take any supplements or vitamins and things like that? I take vitamin D3 with K2 because they're supposed to help each other. Mm -hmm. um, and I also take potassium because I have to. Okay. Because my potassium. I do, do well, I do a multivitamin. I do a hair thing. Yeah, I, I need <laughs> to start that, the hair nail because one of my nail, my nails are starting to like split. I'm starting to get this little And that's line. what I also was hoping the HRT would help with too, is hair. It should. Yeah. I mean, or a different cocktail that they have to give you a different, yeah. um, yeah. But I do vitamin B, vitamin D, the multivitamin, and DHEA, which I was told was good for you. So I do those. Um, Fish oil, I'm supposed to start taking yeah. now, I right hear. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got it yet. Um, it's a reminder to self. The other thing I was going to say is I... Uh, Full disclosure, I don't do any fillers. I don't do Botox. Um, I tried it once, like three or four years ago. But I'm like, I don't care if I have the 11, whatever it is, I don't care. Yeah. Like, at least now I don't, but I don't wanna put Botox in my face and yeah. I definitely don't wanna do filler because 
I just think you start to look scary at some point. Some people do, especially look scary, their lips, and then they get they get addicted. They like what's it, and then they want to do more and more and more. more. And you can't stop because that that um, stretches out your skin. I bet. You know, I never thought of it that way. No, I've not done anything. I've never even had Botox. I've had no fillers, no lips, no nothing. I've not yeah. nothing done. So um, I don't, we don't do any of that. No. Not to but say if exactly, but if you like doing not it, not to say you it's do. you know we're against it. <laughs> no, no, I think I have plenty of girlfriends that have had stuff done. Um, uh, especially the eye. Uh, there's a name for it. When, Upper bluff. Yeah, I did do that. So it's when you have a hooded eye. I don't know if you can can you even see the scar. Uh. Uh. So it's basically they take a little skin from in the eye. Like if you have not a lot of lid space. And so they make it so that you have more. I, it wasn't anything dramatic, which I didn't want dramatic. Yeah. But, um, and it was a doctor here and it was an easy surgery, oh, wow. honestly. And if anybody wants it, I'll send them the name. You can ask for it. I'll send you the name. But I would like to do underneath when we were talking about dark circles. Yeah, I kind of would like to I do that. Underneath. That's, I think that's my biggest, my big problem is my under eye yeah. area. What do they do there? Put fat uh, in it or something? Well, or they, take it out? they cut out. There's a fat pad, I believe, they cut out. Yeah. And then I don't know if they put something else in there, but it just makes it so you don't have the dark circle or the sunken look here. Yeah. Because that's what I, I don't like that yeah. on but, myself. Yeah, I don't like it on myself either. I don't like it at all. And that's really the only... So for me, the upper butt, that's the only thing I've done on mm -hmm. my face. Yeah, I mean nothing. Because as a skincare rep, I, I want to... For as long as possible, be able to say that I've had nothing done. <laughs> I'm naturally beautiful like this. She says, I woke up like this. <laughs> that's because I went to bed with my makeup on. <laughs> no, no, no. Never, never go to bed with your makeup on. Yeah, that's a no-no. But um, but that's kind of like our health and beauty routine. I have one that I forgot oh, okay. because this is huge. So this we're talking about things you found during COVID. You know, the nails, the lashes. I found this during COVID because we couldn't go get our hair done. And I don't like myself in gray. Some people look really good. But I, this is a spray, a magic root cover-up. It's a spray. It's from L'Oreal. You can get it at CVS or Walmart or wherever. comes in many colors. And, like, I am overdue to get my, my, my roots? roots covered up, the grays. Um, so, because I just sprayed this. And here, you can see, that's where I sprayed it. But here, I did not spray it. And look how bad that was. <laughs> it's just a little patch. It's just a, yeah. But no, but it's nice I that look, you can spray it. But I don't want to look like that. Right. Yeah, it's just easy, easy peasy. And it just, and you just spray it on and it washes out. Gotta love it. Gotta love this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we're hoping that maybe in the future we will visit a place or two yeah. here. Um, and tell you what's going on in the villages for health and beauty. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I was going to say, the other things I have done are like micro, I've done micro needling. Oh, okay. I've done, you know, anything collagen inducing, yeah. I like to do those from time to time. Yeah. I haven't done it in a while. On the subject of micro needling, that's good. Oh. To, do you have that done at your esthetician or med spa? A med spa. Yeah. In New, I've done it in New York. I haven't done it here. And micro needling is really good because it, um, it, 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 it's a, Need, when you have it done in the spa, it's, I'm sure it's like top quality. And the basic idea is it, it causes little micro injuries to your skin, which uh, causes a natural response to your skin to say, oh, I've been injured. We need to send collagen. And that's what we want. We want to try and, you know, um, right. bring collagen forward. The older we get, the least and least and least of that it, our body will produce naturally. To, we're almost down to almost nil at this point. Yeah. Well, at least I am. So what this, so you could do it in the med spa, but then you can also do it at home. The, with this one is um, a needler, and you do it after you wash and then tone. But before you do any serums or anything like that, you could do it at night, and you could roll it by yourself. It doesn't hurt. Want to feel it? Does it hurt? No. Not, not at all, right? But your skin thinks it's injured. So you can do it yourself. Um, you can do it on your chest as well. And then you put your serums on after that. Um, so not only does it help to signal your own response, those serums will also have bit more place, you know, be able to sink in even to absorb better. absorb better? Yeah. So be able to do microneedling uh, in the spa and then follow up at home, I think it's a great thing. I think that that's all we do. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we have for now. If yeah. you have any suggestions on future, you know, things that we can do regarding health and beauty, we both are real um, 
followers yes, of that world and that arena. We really love it. I like one of, um, I had some, a little um, mimosa and mini facial party at my house the other day. And um, one of the ladies said, well, you still got to paint the old barn. Because <laughs> <laughs> somebody said, it doesn't matter what we do now. And she goes, nope, nope, you still got to paint the old barn. So, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So if you like what we brought for you today, please um, make sure that you've subscribed to our channel so yes. you're getting notifications and share with others that you think might enjoy it as well. You know, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. <gasps> That's right. That's right. We're almost at a thousand. Maybe if we're lucky <laughs> after this, we'll be at a thousand. We're not prepped. Uh, do we know when we'll hit a thousand? Because it doesn't tell you. Like you yeah, have to just look and see. We won't so. know when we hit a thousand, but um, yeah, we have to keep checking. We'll keep checking, but so we're excited exciting. about that. Yeah, we love. Uh, I think we have fun doing this, and we, mm -hmm. you know, it's fun. It's a little so, pet project. We enjoy it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.